Hi, my name is Jay Harris, and I am president of Infinity Box LLC. In this video, I want to introduce you to our Infinity Box system. For the past 10 years, we've been manufacturing the most powerful, the most intelligent, and the most flexible electrical system on the market. Our customers have used our Infinity Box system to wire everything from hot rods, to street rods, to pro touring builds, to kit cars, to race cars, and resto mods. And they've used our system to replace the traditional wiring harness that they would have installed in that car. Like a traditional wiring harness, the Infinity Box system controls all the electrical loads in your car. Your headlights, your turn signals, your cooling fan, your fuel pumps, wherever you have a switch, the Infinity Box system is going to control that thing that's turning on or off. But we do it differently than a traditional wiring harness. If you think about a traditional wiring harness, nothing has changed since the Model T. You have one box of fuses and relays that lives somewhere in the car. Every switch in the car has a wire that goes to that box of fuses and relays. Also from that box of fuses and relays, there's a wire that goes to everything you're turning on and off whether it's a cooling fan, a fuel pump, a turn signal, a headlight, there's a lot of wire. And so what a traditional wiring har harness gives you is multiple bundles of wire that you have to snake through the car. It gets you a system that is difficult to troubleshoot and diagnose because it's just bare bundles of wire. And it gets a really limited flexibility. A relay can just get you on and off. With our Infinity Box system, we do things a lot differently. Instead of having one central box of fuses and relays in the car, our system gives you multiple modules that you put in the car where you need them. By putting the modules where you need them, you take a lot of wire out of the system, you can make your runs of wire shorter, and it's just simpler to install. So our system starts with what we call the master cell. And the master cell is the brain. The master cell is going to connect to all of your switches in the car. So your headlight switch, your brake pedal switch, everything on your turn signal stock, even the fuel pump trigger and cooling fan trigger from your ECU will connect to the master cell. Now there's no power at the switch. The master cell is just looking at that switch to see when it opens and closes. And that helps because essentially there is no power, which means that there's a very thin gauge of wire that goes from the master cell to the switches you have in the car. Since there's very little power at the switch, you have a lot more flexibility in terms of how you want to control the things in your car. For example, you can keep the original switches that came with your classic car and never have to worry about those contacts failing because there's no current at the switch. Or you could use any billet switch or any modern switch you'd like if it meets and kind of matches the interior of your car, you've got complete flexibility, and those switches will connect to our master cell. So where the master cell is the brain, the power cells are the muscle. You put the master cell close to your switches, you put the power cells close to where the things are that you're turning on and off. So in most cases, that means there's one power cell in the front of the car and one power cell in the rear. Inside the power cell are the fuses that protect the wires and also the relays that turn the outputs on and off. It gets power from the battery, it connects to the loads that you're switching, and it's just a thin data cable that connects the master cell to these power cells. So your front power cell would be controlling things like your headlights, and your high beams, and your cooling fan, and your horn, power to your ECU, power to your starter solenoid, and power to your dash. And all that's done locally, so the runs of wire from the power cell to the things in the front of the car are very short. You'd have another power cell in the back of the car, say in the trunk, that's going to power your brake lights and your turn signals and your backup lights, your in-tank fuel pump, maybe an amp or a subwoofer. And just like the front, that rear power cell is close to everything that you're turning on and off, so the runs of wire going from the power cell to the things you're controlling are very short. And that makes troubleshooting very easy, just in terms of tracking down the wire. But inside our Infinity Box system, there's a lot of processing power and a screen on the master cell that gives you all the diagnostic information you'd need to know. So if things aren't working correctly, 
the Infinity Box system will tell you what's going on and how to fix it. Lastly, the Infinity Box system is a very flexible and very powerful system for doing more than just what a traditional wiring harness can do. We can build in things like timing and delays and patterns. We can control your lights like a new car. And we even have the accessories and the options to let you control your car from a tablet or a smartphone. So stay tuned for more videos as we go into the details of the Infinity Box system. If you have questions in the meantime, you can get us at 847-232-1991, and you can catch us on the web at www.infinitybox.com. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.